said for ourselves. Are we meeting the hopes and the dreams that our parents and mentors would have set for us? What within our core values are we expressing through our work and through our relationships? And where can we make adjustments to be the very best people that we can be? And who have been our mentors and our inspirations? And who do we have an obligation now to aspire to be like us? To try to answer these questions these past few years, I can tell you that we as faculty have become significantly more reflective and we've taken a harder look at ourselves too and the work that we do together. What we've seen through this reflection gives us considerable hope, particularly as we look at you as new graduates. What is it that we see? We see that you truly are problem solvers and that because you've been learning and working in actual challenging situations, you've moved beyond just learning about subjects into a realm where you are already addressing difficult issues. You've already been mapping environmental resilience around the world. You've already been assessing health disparities caused by economics and by race. You've been helping to manage the distribution of COVID vaccines and health interventions. You've been managing data that affects personal privacy and security. You've been fighting for women's rights. You've been mapping cancer-causing locations and developing anti-racist and reparations policies. You've been helping this university to shape how it engages ethically with the community around us just blocks away. You've been bringing a humanistic perspective to addressing issues of immigration, and refugee status. You've been working with governments to address threats to our democracy. And you've been assisting us as faculty to be better teachers, better mentors, and better advisors. As faculty, we've learned from you as we've made many rapid changes over the last couple of years. We've become much more aware of some of the challenges you faced in fully engaging intellectually rigorous learning environments. We know about more of your emotional challenges and more about the ways you've accepted loss. We know how some of you have lost touch with your communities. We've lost our informal sense of interactions over cups of tea, of losing our senses of time and of the immediacy of touch. We've learned to grapple with issues of impatience in ways that we might not have in the past. So what have we learned? We've learned to live in a world, a Zoom world of digital interaction to manage our time differently. We've learned to be more understanding and empathetic towards cultural differences. We've learned to accept more of your family situations. We've learned and to look to different resources to address the kinds of issues that we face. Issues of self-care and exercise and putting ourselves in nature and dealing with our families. We've even gotten used to your cats as they wander <laughs> back and forth across our Zoom screens. And we've learned to look even harder for the very essence of truth within our work and our lives. We've learned to examine the faith that we have or lack in our shared institutions and we've learned to dream of humanistic social development and to share those dreams with people who are less formal than we are. In short,
short, we've been confronted to learn about life's balance, about resilience, about ethical engagement, about mutual support in our communities. 